Yo, before we get to the video, if you struggle with being addicted to your phone and want to learn how to quit, I have a free community that you can join right now today that will teach you how to break your phone addiction completely free. All right, let's get to it. I just did a quick Google search to see what the average time that a person in Gen Z, like a teenager, spends on their phone in 2024. And obviously all the like studies and stuff were kind of different, but the average that I kind of found was eight hours, eight hours a day on their phone for people aged 13 to 18. Now, if you think about this in the grand scheme of your life, that is one third of your day spent on social media or just on your phone, on your screen, most likely not doing perspective, no, most, most likely not doing anything that's productive. Now, if you think about this in the grand scheme of life, say that you didn't get a phone till you're like 13 and you're going to probably live till about 80, that's 67 years. Now, divide that by three, that's around 22.3 years of your life. You will spend, if you're on pace for that, 22.3 years of your life. Another amount of that, if your sleep schedule is not fucked up, is your sleep. You'll spend about 45 years of your life sleeping and on your phone. Is that how you want to li live 45 years of your life? Like you, It's not like you can just neglect your sleep that much and be healthy. But eight hours on your phone a day is ridiculous. Now, obviously, sometimes there's like things that you have to do on screens. Like I guess like the majority of my screen time, you could say, comes from my camera when I'm recording videos like this. That's like the highest app by like, it's astronomical. It's like today, it's probably about three hours worth of just on my camera, but that's recording. So obviously there's things like there's things that are kind of different, but it's no secret that a lot of people in our generation spend so much time on their phone. Is that how you want to live your life? This video could probably save you years of your life if you're willing to apply the things that I'm going to tell you. Because there was a couple years ago in 2020 where I was spending about seven to eight hours a day, every single day on screens and not doing anything productive. It was a combination of watching YouTube videos, playing Fortnite. Yes, I still play Fortnite at that time and watching like TV and stuff, eight hours and my 14 year old, 13 year old self knew like, man, this is no way to live. I, or like, it was literally messing with my soul, how much time I was spending on screens. And I literally had a desire to change. And I started seeking out self-improvement. I started seeking out like, how do I change this? Because it got to the point where I was like, man, I cannot live like it. Like it scared me when I was thinking about like, if I do this for the rest of my life, like I'm gonna miss out on so many things in my life. And it was only at that point where I got into that horrible place, spending eight hours every single day, like going to bed late, just feeling like shit. My grades were like worse. I was more insecure than ever. It got me, it took to get to that point where I'm decided, where I actually decided to start living my life and start doing the things that I enjoyed and was able to take a step back from all the scrolling and stuff. And it simply came from doing a couple things in my life to actually find how do I stop being just a slave to my phone and a slave to all this overstimulation. And it's very simple to actually stop scrolling and it's actually easy. No, it's sorry. It's simple to get off like the scrolling and like all off these social medias, but it's not necessarily easy. It takes time and it takes a lot of effort to do this. But if you're willing to apply these principles that I'm going to tell you in this video, then you're going to be all right. And you're actually going to be able to live the majority of your life doing things that you want to, because we know as a generation, like that life can be lived on your phone it's not like enjoyable to scroll on social media you're probably just sitting there you might laugh at a reel but is it really worth all of your life just to sit there mouth breathing consuming content that you don't even like most people don't even like a lot of people that i know that still scroll on tiktok say they hate going on tiktok but what do they do they spend four or five hours every single day just scrolling on tiktok so if I'm, if you're watching this video, I'm going to guess that you're not one of those people. So how do you make this change? And the biggest change that I did and the thing that like um, was able to like get me to cut out pretty much all of my stimulation and all my time consuming when I went from eight hours a day to pretty much zero, it was simply finding 
what you call a purpose. Now, for me in my life, it comes from a lot of different things. It comes from music, and at the time it was basketball, but it comes from music and making videos and creating and running this business and running everything that I do in terms of creating in my life. That is my purpose. And I see a lot of people describe purpose as like, oh, like start a business and start making a whole bunch of money. But purpose is something that you genuinely love to do and can genuinely fill your day with so much enjoyment that you don't even need to be scrolling on social media anymore. Now, the reason why most people spend so much time, or at least I did, on social media and stuff was just because I was bored. I knew that I shouldn't spend that much time on it, but I just spent so much time on it because, like, I don't I don't know what else I should be doing. Like, I finished my schoolwork, I finished my stuff, so might as well just, like, scroll on social media and that's the mindset that a lot of people have been told and like that it's okay it's okay to spend five hours on tiktok if you've finished all your work for the day but what i'd tell you and what i'd recommend to you in order to live like the most fulfilling life you possibly can is find something that you get so much enjoyment from and gives you so much like fulfillment that majority of your time is just spent doing that thing. That's what happens for me with this YouTube channel. That's what happens for me with music. Like I have so much that I want to accomplish that I don't really have any more time, not in the bad way where I'm just like getting sleep deprived and stuff because I'm so busy, but I don't have time and I don't have the will to go scroll on social media because I have other things that I genuinely want to accomplish. A purpose and like the thing that I'm talking about in terms of like music and like the stuff that I do that with this YouTube channel is simply finding a task or something to work on in your everyday life that puts you in what's called a flow state. Now, a flow state is kind of what athletes call being in the zone where you're doing something that you don't really like think about. You're just in the moment, you're just doing it and you're just 100% present with what you're doing. Now, this can come at different times in your life doing different things. But for me, there's always been a couple things that kind of put me in that flow state and put me in that zone. For me, one of the big ones is speaking. I have been recording here for about an hour and a half now, and I'm going to do a bunch more recording later today and everything. And just, I don't script any of my videos. I just set my camera up. I have the title and the topic that I want to talk about, and I just talk. And this time just kind of passes by. Like, I've been recording for a while, but it seems like I just started, like, two seconds ago because it's so enjoyable because my mind is in that state of flow and I'm just focused on the task that I'm doing. I'm not worrying about the future. I'm not being anxious about the past. I'm just focused on what I'm doing. And the way to find your purpose and the way to find that thing for you is kind of tricky, honestly, because you can't just like, I can't tell you like, oh, your purpose is to like paint walls. Your purpose is to be a basketball player. You need to find the thing that genuinely puts you in that flow state. But for me, what I've always kind of done is just, you can think back to your past as a child and think like, what did I enjoy doing and what was I good at? And once you kind of do that, you'll find you have certain experiences as long as you're willing to do it for long enough that you're like, man, I really enjoyed doing that. And I really like, I have that one kind of like core memory, you could say, of like that thing where I'm like, man, I really love doing that. And for me, speaking and in terms of like articulating myself, I remember in grade 10 in debate class, we had, or sorry, English class, we were doing debates and the topic that I had, I think it was like on AI and something or something. And we did our debate and the people that I was going against didn't have the like the most solid argument, but they had the topic that like everyone wanted, like they had the, or at least the opinion that everyone wanted, because the other side was like, kind of like a little bit weaker, but my team ended up winning. And it was mainly because at at like the last point, I kind of like destroyed their argument, like pu putting a bunch of holes in it. And everyone like after we won was kind of like giving me a bunch of compliments on stuff on how like well I spoke and how well I was able to kind of pick apart their argument and articulate myself. And I remember just thinking like, man, I really love to do debates. And I think it was like, I thought it was a debate thing at that time. But eventually after like starting a YouTube channel, I just realized it's speaking. It's even though I'm a quiet person most of the time, like if you ever see me at like a restaurant with like my friends or something, most of the time I'll just be like sitting there just like listening. But it's when I can talk and when I have actually something to say that I can be very articulate about it and don't need like a script. Like I haven't read a script for any of my videos in like the last like I'd say like three months I haven't had a script I've just been sitting on my camera talking and having my like 
self just like flow and i enjoy this more than a lot of other things in my life i enjoy doing this so once you have that thing that can occupy your time you won't need to scroll on social media anymore you won't have the desire to be constantly scrolling because your time will be filled up with other things that you can genuinely enjoy and genuinely do that fills your time now if you want to find your purpose and you kind of resonate with the things that i've said i have a free community that you can join right now today completely free that will teach you one how to break your phone addiction and two actually how to find your purpose it's a two-step course it's a two-step process in terms of like being able to break away from your phone addiction and then how to fill your time with your purpose so if that interests you scroll down and click the top link in the description now with that being said i know that it can kind of seem like hard to get away from social media and stop scrolling but once you get away from it you'll realize like how beautiful life actually is and even like for me when I was scrolling I knew I was wasting time I wasn't happy doing it and it's just because it's stimulating that it keeps you there and it's it can be hard to break and it can be hard to step away from it but once you're actually able to do it you will see how enjoyable life actually is to live. Now, with that being said, if you don't know already, my name is Colby Wallace. I'm an 18-year-old artist from Canada. And if you like videos like this where you hear me talk about self-improvement stuff and also want to hear some of the original music that I have coming very, very soon, you might as well subscribe. I'm not sure what you're waiting for. It's a win for you. It's a win for me. And also, if you want to join that free community, scroll down, click the top link in the description. And with that being said, I have nothing more to say except never stop creating, my friend, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.